today we are going to look at the push workout which we do in calisthenics so let's go hey guys very good morning right now it is 6:30 in the morning and i am headed to the academy and so you should know that i love working out i i really feel like i can't stay without working out however i had taken a week off entirely because i had got a little injured in my elbow but today here i am and there is nobody in the academy till now uh we are going to start off with the warm up because it's windows and warming up takes a little while these days so i'm starting off with some skipping and then we'll be following up with some mobility drills and some warm up stretches let's go now we'll be doing some uh, wrist mobility wrist warm up this will help in the upcoming handstand drills that we are going to do and also this makes sure that you are not getting injured right warming up is very underrated right everybody says it but nobody actually does it but no just giving 10 minutes 15 minutes before you work out is not going to you know take a lot of time from you but it is definitely going to get yourself out of injuries first thing we are going to do after we are completely warmed up is to do some handstand drills now for that we need our core to feel engaged and that is the reason why we are doing this exercise this is called hollow body hold we will do 30 seconds two sets each this is basically for our mind muscle connection Now this simple pose, which is called cat and cow pose, this helps in flexibility of your neck, shoulders, and spine, which will be helpful in the upcoming drill, like this one. Now today I will not be doing a handstand, but today I am doing all the drills which will help in building a mind muscle connection. That will be easier for us when we try to get into a handstand position. Now this. drill specifically is helping us engage our core so while we are up there we are not losing our core and you know then falling down and then there is this one so we are basically taking our shoulder distance gap between the wall and ourselves and this is helping us understand while we are upside down how far can we get or take our legs you know so that we don't fall down now of course all of these handstand drills are strengthening our shoulders as well come on let's start with today's workout today as we know that we are going to do complete push workout we are starting with some push ups we will be doing 3 sets of 8 to 10 reps each now those who can not do complete push ups they can do knee push ups what you have to do is you have to just be in this posture get your or keep your knees on the mat or the floor and do it that way it will be slightly easier i forgot to mention that in the video i'm so sorry we'll be doing that next time Now up until now we were doing regular push-ups but this is called pseudo push-ups wherein your hands are a little wider the aim basically is to keep your palm as close to your hips this is a very effective way of increasing our upper body strength it helps in defining the muscles as well now this is called pike push-up please avoid if you have any elbow or shoulder injury now this push up helps in strengthening uh, your shoulders and in engagement and strengthening your core as well now what you have to do is you have to get your head to the mat and then slightly in a diagonal position you have to come back so you maintaining the v position that you are in We are doing three sets of all the exercises. For this specific four to six reps is good enough. Now 
this is my first time doing bench press. I just wanted to check myself and that's why I did not put any weight in the first set. And it seemed very easy. <laughs> so I had to increase in the next set. So I did three sets of this as well, or uh, 10 reps each. You can adjust the reps accordingly. You can do six to 10, you know, depending on the level of workout you wanna do. And also you can maintain your weights uh, accordingly. I have added five kgs uh, each side and have done the next two sets using the same weight. Honestly, I do not add weights to my workout, but with my recent injury, which I've had uh, in my elbow, I have decided that I will be doing or adding weights to my workout that really prevents, you know, from injury that makes your muscles stronger and that helps in protecting your joints. So this is shoulder press. I did three sets. First set I did with 7.5 kgs each dumbbell and the other two I did with 10 kgs. we are done <laughs> we are finally done with our workout routine now the one of the most important things which we skip because we are so tired is the cool down process the stretching after you know we have experienced a lot of strain on our muscles to relax the muscles so we are doing some cool down and this is trust me very important now, since we have done upper body workout today, so we are uh, making sure that our sh shoulders, our spine, our, uh, you know, all the upper body muscles are getting stretched perfectly so that the next day we do not feel very sore or get injured somehow. Uh, this also helps in releasing stiffness, you know, from the muscles. And yes, today this was my first workout vlog and I think it turned out really well. And thanks you guys for watching the video. If you liked the video, like the video and do not forget to subscribe. See you next time.